Woodlock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I'll want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take this. Is something to you? That we must find. You can't spank all citizens living on the Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Hound Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in this day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future empress? The offender's possessions are legally forfeited. be of service to you? Can I be of service to you? did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes. And Campbell's journal, let's not forget. 
Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. You're lucky I keep you on. It is every what? citizen's duty this to place report fall apart in ten minutes and without me. actions. The state is depends so? on you. In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
faint or something? You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. 